You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. You have to be a man, my prince. You are a man. Be strong. Remember who and what you are. The son of a lion. Lions are not known for weakness and fears. Neither your late father, our late king. Great responsibilities lie on your shoulders now. So you must be strong to stand firm like a fearless warrior before a battlefield. Be strong. Sorry for your loss, our loss, our loss. my prince. Like Ono has rightly said, we need your strength and valor. You know the strength of this kingdom lies on you now. Please, wipe away your tears, son of autumn. Huh? Be a man, be strong. We are solidly behind you. Attack God. Hmm? Attack God. Hmm? <laughs> Son, returning from such a long journey, all you need now is a good meal and the rest. You can sit here and mourn all day, especially starving yourself. I don't want you to endanger your life. Your health is important. I don't want to lose you too. Please, go to your chamber and get a good bath and rest. Okay, you can go to bed. I will go to bed soon. You promise? Of course. Okay. Mm. I will. I will go to my room. Good night. The ways of God and other ways of men. You plan this way, and God would plan differently. Who's there? Who's there? Come in. Uh, Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my daughter. Sit. Um, I know why you're here. I understand your feelings. Honey, can we not talk about this issue this night? My son, the prince just arrived from such a long journey. 
and he's in pain. For loss, remember? Can we give him time to heal? And uh, we can then discuss about this guest of his. Please. Thank you, Majesty. That's my baby girl. Um, don't worry. Just keep it cool, okay? Let your troubled heart be pacified with this personal light. And in the morning we can talk. Okay, Your Majesty. That's my girl. <laughs> You have to go to bed and make sure you sleep like a newborn baby. Sure, I will. Good. Good night. Good night, Your Majesty. Mm. Sweet dreams. <laughs> you too. <laughs> What is she doing in this palace? I am not ready to talk about that now. Really? No, you, you better be kidding because we have to talk about it. I am ready to have that conversation with you. And you answer me, Ebubike. Who is she and what is she doing here? I want to be left alone. No, no. I won't leave you. I won't let that happen. You need to talk to me. Oh, you want me to go confront her? Should I go ask her? I'm your fiancé for crying out loud. You owe me that all that explanation. Okay? Who is she and what is she doing here? I said I don't want to talk about it. Everybody can you have to talk about it now. Now! You want me to leave the room for you? No. You are not leaving. No one is leaving. We have to talk about it. Your friend. This is good. Hey, thank you so much. Hey. No, enough. Can you just stop being dramatic? I mean, it's nothing. I am not being dramatic. What are we friends for? You're my friend, right? I know. All right. Hey. Can you stop already? All this for me. You can check them out later, OK? My friend, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Hey, welcome. Thank you. You know how I've missed you all this while you travel to abroad for your scholarship. I know, right? Yes. I mean, I am so happy seeing you. Thank you so much. Let me look at your color. <laughs> You're glowing. My I friend. know. <laughs> please, 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 Adora. Can you stop flattering me with your loud mouth? I already. Am, I am not flattering you. Thank you. I mean, the difference is clear. <laughs> Imagine this country you vote, and yet your vote does not count. Because of the manipulation of evil politicians. I know, right? Oh my God, it's actually quite pathetic. You know, what? I felt really bad when I heard what the CAP did in the last election. How they rigged the election in favor of their own preferred candidate against the people's choice, Paul Obi. You know, like, I wonder how many hopes they must have dashed to pieces by that singular act. Yes. I know God must judge them. Must. Must. Hey, hey, my dear friend, what's this rumor that I'm hearing that you returned with the prince as his girlfriend? His fiancée, to be precise. Oh. <laughs> you know, we met abroad. Liked each other and then one or two happened. We fell in love. Wow. Wow. But everybody knows that Emanuela has been the one the almighty queen is grooming for the prince. Oh, spare me that bullshit. Adora, listen to me. I do not want to ever hear that cursed name around me again. All right? Now listen to me. She is not only desperate, she's also nothing but a cheap pig. 
who is parading herself around, chasing clouds with the royal name. All right? I tell you something. They are nothing but childhood friends. The prince, I mean, my fiance, confided in me. He even swore to me before I accepted his proposal that there was absolutely nothing between the two of them. And she knows it. She's just chasing clouds. And I know, I understand, okay? And as for the queen, I really do understand the dirty game she's trying to play because she's friends with the girl's mother. So she's trying to make it work out in favor of her friend's daughter. The prince, my fiance, wants no other than me. So all her efforts and her dirty games are nothing but waste of time and efforts. Wow. Wow. I envy you, girlfriend. Imagine you've been chosen by our almighty queen for the prince. I mean, he has everything. He's tall, rich, and well-educated. I mean, he's the dream of every woman. Wait a minute. Wait. All this beautiful compliment for my man. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell me, Adora, how long have you been crushing on my man? Maybe I can help tell him that you've got <laughs> feelings for him. Please, girlfriend, stop. I am not crushing on him. I'm just... Do not be scared. Mm. I'm only joking. Okay. But you know, it's actually quite crazy that I do not feel the same way for the prince. I mean, I do not love him. Yeah, I don't even have any single feelings for him. Uh, yes, girl. I only want to be royalty. And that's some period. That's all. Girlfriend, you must be joking for you to say you don't have feelings for the prince. Read my lips. <gasps> He must be joking for you to say you don't have feelings. Wait a minute, you're still singing his praises. Are you a home in bed? But Prince, Prince is someone every woman's dream. And He's... you are still singing his praises. Enough of that chest, please. Tell me, eyes are broad. I mean, came up over doing the <laughs> I do not actually know how to begin to describe the abroad for you. You have to go there witness things by yourself. I have come to see you and inform you of the ritual which we have adopted. It has to do with the prince bride. She will die the day of her wedding night. As Achakaja, the great oracle, will feast on her blood that night. The sacrifice is to prepare the throne for the prince to ascend as the next king. After which, he can take another woman as his bride and rule with her. You are obligated to know this as the queen, I don't know, of the kingdom. According to our tradition, that you must keep it a secret for the prince and the bride to be, in order not to complicate matters. You know, you can tell your trusted elders. Oh. Thank you, great Ikoko, for your visit. I shall keep it a secret from my son, the prince, and his bride-to-be as you have commanded. The secret is safe with me. And I promise you, it shall be a secret, except for those you have asked me to relay it to. Greetings, my prince, and my husband to be. He sent for me. Yes, please have a seat. Thank you. I guess you finally decided to give me some time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Perhaps, 
but you would have to hold on for I expect a third party to this conversation. A third party? Hey, sweetheart. Hey, hon. You sent for me? Yes. Do you now have time to talk to me? Yes, I do. And what is she doing here? She's part of the meeting. Part of the meeting? How? Why? No. Have you forgotten that three is a crowd? I understand. But I want both of you to hear what I have to say. First off, I'm going to start with a formal introduction. Ella? Yes, Daddy. Meet Yvonne. My fiancé all the way from abroad. Yvonne, this is Ella. Baby. My childhood bestie. Hi, childhood whatever. Good day. Your childhood bestie. Is that all I am to you? Ella, I am sorry for all the drama that has played since my return. But, but truth be told, we are just friends. Family friends. Really? Family friends? <clears throat> Would you respect I am done with this meeting. Exactly what you should do. To be done for good. I mean, forever. If I were you, I won't celebrate just yet. Because it is not yet over. Whatever. Okay, babe. Do you not have my time? I mean, to meet me up in the bedroom. Why? Why? Come with me, please. Come on. You know that things are really expensive in the market these days. Mm -hmm. Imagine the small vegetable. Can you imagine? Imagine this vitamin that Mamu Juma gave me for 1,000. 1,000? 1,000 naira. Can you imagine? This is terrible. Hmm. Hey. You know now, you people that are living in the palace, now I'm good now, now I'm better. Hi, right, let's go, John. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's remind me, have you heard the late news, Jesus? What is it? You have started the game with your mm. gossip. Eh? Look at your mouth, it's, it's growing up every day. What is it again? This one is not as usual, no. This one is very, very serious. What is it? That arrogant bride of Prince Ebu Bedike, she's in danger. Oh. In danger? She's in danger. How? I overheard my father, Jono, mm -hmm. discussing secretly with Ichi and Joko okay. that the tradition have changed. According to them, the first bride will die. Then her blood. <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you. The first wife will die. Then her blood will be used to cleanse or purify the throne. Hey, after that, then the prince, her husband, will now marry a bride then she will live with him till she becomes the queen hey hmm. no wonder hey in a good information hmm. is it correct no information no wonder no wonder the queen tolerated that that arrogant Yvonne in the palace yes so that she will be the first one to die Gia. Gia. Hmm. why our friend Ella marries the prince as the true queen of this kingdom. Hey! That's not with me. The queen is now is a genius. Hmm? Thank God that the tradition did not favor them. Thank God that the tradition favors our friend Emanuela. He's a thing of joy. Hmm? That arrogant lady will not be our queen. Hey! Hmm. Please, don't tell anybody you. Hey. Nobody, shh, shh, shh. Nobody should hate you. I trust you not tell Adjou. anybody. Adjou. Why will I tell anyone? I reject it. I will never tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. How can I say anything like this thing is a secret? Shh, shh, shh. 
between the two. It's okay. Yeah. It's you don't tell me anybody. Eh? In fact, you didn't tell me anything. No? You didn't tell me anything. Hey! Although it is so My queen, uh, I'll be make your favorite, your favorite, uh, often sala, and uh, as well, as mangala. Hey, I'm not hungry. You know they're hungry. You be like say no, you wait to talk. I cook your favorable food. Oh, yeah, do I look like I'm in the mood for all this? I'm not hungry, please. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, please. Ah, uh, what think on the warrior? No, this is not like her. She yeah. rejects open salawa cook. We take Jula. Sne. I go find out. Yeah, I know. Mm. Honestly, Your Majesty, I need to know what is really going on. Hello, sweetheart. I understand your hunger. However, you have to come back. I am not the end of the situation. With him introducing me to that intruder as just his childhood friend. Your Majesty, do you know the humiliation I just received? An intruder, you said? But that's exactly what she is. So you don't need to bother yourself. Like I said, I have the control over this. I am still the queen mother here, remember? So you don't need to bother yourself. The prince is yours. Yes. You see that thing? She's nothing. You are going to be the next queen of Abogo Kingdom. Oh, Your Majesty, you need to do something. You don't need to bother. Come on. Like I said, she's just a person face. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go and have a seat out. Drink juice. Come on, sweetheart. That's my girl you have to be. See who we have here? The almighty queen of Abigo Kingdom in her usual aggressive pride. You couldn't even wait for the rain to abate. Had to defy it under this rain to come see me. And that's important, right? Maria, well, I am glad you still realize that I'm still the queen around here. Mm -hmm. As for the word pride, it's an attitude for royalty. Doka, so what do you want? Why are you here? To inform you that I know your games. You have cunningly sneaked your daughter Yvonne into my household. All in the name of my son's fiance. Just you could ruin my happiness. Right? Just the way you wanted to do years back. In the name of best friend. Why you are a friendly enemy. Lucas. I've always known you. I've always known what you are capable of doing. I knew you will come here. You are not just proud. You are also predictable. What a shame. I'm happy. And I thank the gods. You know my daughter is there. The princess fiance. She's going to be the next queen of this kingdom. And I shall be clipping your wings. Bring it together. Clip it to the pin. Then you are lighting the fire that would burn you to ashes. Should you dare me? I shouldn't have allowed your daughter a night in my home. Just because of my son. Really? Just my son. Lucas. Spare me those consoling words. I don't need them. My daughter is going to be ascending the throne with her husband, the prince. Like I said earlier, we shall be clipping your wings. 
you cannot do anything to her. Maria, the game you're playing, mm -hmm. I know it's perfectly well. More than you do. You know what? So you can play. Trust me. Because I am ready for you. Let's do this and know who wins. I accept the challenge. Teat for tat. An eye for an eye. You can choose to remain here or go back to the room where you're coming from. I was busy before you barged in on me shamelessly. So excuse me. She think you are wise. Don't conclude until God confirms it. Who knows the mind then of wait till God? I write. Whatever he says must come to pass. If only she knew that the reason I tolerated her daughter is because she would die after the wedding day as a sacrificial lamb. Then Ella, whom I have been grooming for my son, would take her rightful place as my daughter-in-law. Oh, she will never. Yes. <laughs> This is the best way to be Abba for all the evil she's done to me in the past. This is a perfect opportunity for a cold revenge. Thank God. Thank the gods of our land for our new tradition. The ways of God. Ella or whatever stupid name they call you. You know, I see you really like creating things. But I won't, I won't oblige you. Yes, I know what you're looking for. But I need to remind you in case you've forgotten that this is a royal palace. Not your poor parents' touch house. Where you are allowed to display your madness however you like. Oh yes, this is a royal palace. If you want to run mad, You've got the markets where local Ekuke dogs like you are allowed to display their madness. I understand. But I tell you something. When you don't want to know about Ekuke, take an Ekuke to a castle. It will still remain what? An Ekuke. Ivan! I double dare you, bitch! I double dare you! On your final grade, I double dare you! You are testing my patience. Even you are testing my patience. You are testing my patience. What did I just say about the cooking dog? Take <laughs> and a cookie to the cast. Mm. To still remain what? A cookie. No, you guys need to shout it. To still remain what? A cookie. Nice one. Why do you two want to turn this palace into a battlefield to the extent of instigating the palace aides? Shouting at your voices! What has come over you? What? Well, my queen, I was sitting pretty, minding my business, when she came backing at me like a mad dog that she is. No, Are she... you backed back? She was the one who instigated the maidens to disrespect me. She yeah, was the one. Enough. 